This is the sewing house of Eastside Baptist of Vernon, Florida, and Mrs. Brock is going to give us a tour of the sewing house. Okay. This is our main room. This is the place where we cut and do our sewing and iron. And anything else we won't do it here. <laughs> this is the main room. This is where we meet and this is where we do our work. This room in here at the end of the trailer is where I keep uh, the church finance records and all. And we have a computer and a printer here, and my daughter is in charge of that, and she comes here and works on that. We also keep our thread in here and buttons and stuff. Now we'll go back through here to get to the rest of it. Well, they might come in be curious. We make accommodations for everybody. We even have a wheelchair. We have a small refrigerator we keep water in. This is where we keep most of our material. We have more tables if we need them to cut out on two. Wow, you have quite an assortment of yes, fabrics. we do. We did have more, but we have one lady in particular who likes to come in every, nearly every day, and she cuts out for us, and that's all she does. So our material is going down, but people keep bringing us in more, and we love that. And you get contributions from a oh, lot yes. of people, huh? And it doesn't matter what church they go to. We get contributions from everybody. That's great. And this is where we keep our dresses. We have boxes up here with some different sizes in them, like this is a size 4 here. Wow, you've got a lot of stock, huh? Yes, and we've given out a lot this year already. We've given out at least 300 dresses. Wow. Already. And Peggy keeps her pot holders that she makes up here. She, We don't get rid of anything. We use all the scraps, and that's what she's done with these pot holders, use scraps to make them. And these go all over the world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They've gone to Nicaragua, Bolivia, Honduras, Dominican Republic. We've got some going to the Ukraine. Haiti. That's amazing. We've sent them all over. From a little town of Vernon. Uh -huh. We pack the dresses with a pair of underwear, panties, girls' panties, and we use briefs. Uh, because we don't want them to be skimpy. We want them to have a good pair of underwear on under the dress. So. And their dresses are handmade, all of them, and we just enjoy sewing and putting them together. Well, that is so nice, Miss Brock. Well, we'll make sure we get this on the internet and okay. share it with people around the world. Great. Thank Sounds you good. so much for your time. You're quite welcome. Okay. And as you heard Miss Brock tell the story of the sewing house, we have Miss Connie Bland here. And yes. Connie, what are you doing right now? Right now I'm turning the pieces so that they can be pressed down so that the next person can top stitch. Okay. And uh, what is top stitching? That's where well, they finish it off and she can show you she's doing one now. I just got through with this one. We stitch it all around the edges so that it'll be nice and smooth and the facings won't come out. Okay. That's what you call top stitching. All right. And when I get through doing that, I sew it here on the, the where the facing has come into it so that it'll keep it from coming out even better. And then I put the buttonholes in it and I've already marked my buttonholes getting ready to put them in. Wow. Someone else sews the buttons on, and that'll be it. Peggy does most of the work. She puts them together for us. Okay. And what she's doing is getting them ready for Peggy, pinning the facings on. This is Lois McDade. And I'm pinning facings in. The facing is the white stuff, correct? Yes. This yes. is interfacing. Interfacing, yes. And the facing is the material. The, and so you put the two together. And, and the white won't show when you get through. Right. See? It doesn't show on this one. But it's there. See? Uh-huh. Well, I'm glad I'm not working with those needles, Lois. <laughs> I'm glad are, it's you and not me. They are sharp. 
And uh, Miss Adams? Yes, sir. What are you doing over here? Well, this is a surgery that somebody donated to us, and we had a little work done on it, and it saves us a tremendous amount of time and sewing. A lot of the little clipping that we used to have to do, we don't do anymore. And um, I sew up the sides of the dress and uh, uh, do some trim out on the facing, and it just all kind of goes together. But wonderful that we had somebody donate this to us. It looks like a complicated machine to me. Uh, well, I'm learning. I'm learning. And I, I look at the instruction book, and it's helpful. Of course it's helpful. But uh, sometimes I do say a little prayer over it every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> God, give me a little bit of guidance here. This is, you know, something's not going together, but we want it to keep going because it saves us so much time in making our garments. Well, but uh, it's been a okay. blessing. You need to show the stitching that it does. Yeah. I don't. It, it, it doesn't show up very well on this, so we need something dark. Maybe this one. Maybe it'll show on this one. This is a. Um, example of some of the stitching that the serger does if you can see it closely let me see if i can oh yes i can get up oh, close on that that trims out the edge you don't have to hem it we as we yeah. used to do we that's don't, amazing it saves so much time it trims it off because it cuts the excess material and we want to send a nice clean garment mm -hmm. that's that's put together and we do the the facing here with the serge stitch and then down the sides of the garment so We've That's got, amazing what that machine can do. Yes, it is. I mean, we want these kids to have a nice garment that will hold up. Mm. And maybe it will be passed on to a brother. And this Sister. <laughs> not a brother. <laughs> right. you, you delete that. Out. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We're all human. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you ladies do a lot of good work. God bless you. Thank you. And uh, we'll get this put out so everybody can see what y'all do. And uh, I'm just amazed at all the things you do here. And I know that the people that get your products are so happy to have them. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank y'all very much. Thank you. And I'll quit bothering you and let you go back to your work. Y'all have a good day. You too.